What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So it's the first video of 2022, so Happy New Year to all you guys. Hope you all had a nice time over the holidays. You didn't drink too much and eat too much, unlike myself. Um, but So today, the first video of 2022 is a little bit different than usual. I'm not going to be talking about bikes. I'm not going to be taking my drone somewhere picturesque. I'm not going to be talking about Japanese architecture or taking you to a castle or anything like that. We're on a mission today to find a legend. And I'm not talking about a man, I'm talking about a machine. So I'll put a picture on the screen now. Hello taxi driver, where are you going? You do realize it's red. So how many of you guys know what this car is? Anyone, anyone? Can you tell what it is yet? Right, that's right. You guys, you know your stuff. It is a Ford Escort Cosworth. Now, Ford Escort Cosworth, Japan. What the hell is the connection? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was told by a friend of mine who is a car exporter, who used to live in the city but doesn't anymore, that there is a Ford Escort Cosworth wide body, maybe an X Rallycross car or an X Rally car parked up gathering dust outside of an abandoned tire shop right here in my city now i never thought i would see an escort cosworth in japan uh let alone a tuned up maybe x rally car but um yeah apparently there is so today's mission is to go and find that car now i've got the rough whereabouts the guy told me it's next to a department store called nitori uh, and it's in between that department store and a petrol station and the building where the car is has got a big Michelin tires sign outside of it and it's basically like an old abandoned um, tire shop so it shouldn't be too hard to find I'm right in the center now right by our main station and I'm pretty sure it's on this road heading out of town so in about five minutes I should have found it so stick with me guys the Ford Escort RS Cosworth is a rally version homologation special of the Mark V Escort that was sold in Europe. It was designed to qualify as a Group A car for the World Rally Championship, in which it competed between 1993 and 1998. Although it wasn't the most successful rally car, it did take some serious wins with drivers such as Francois Delacroix, Tommy Mackinnon and Carlos Sainz. When I was a kid, I had three posters on my bedroom wall. One was of a Suzuki GSX-R1100, one was of a chick from Baywatch, and one was a WRC Escort Cosworth. I love this car, and I can't believe I found one in Japan. For those of you who don't know, the normal Mark V Escort was just a front-wheel drive, boring hatchback. But the Escort Cosworth is a 2.0-litre turbo, four-wheel drive, fire-breathing monster. The standard trim comes with about 220 horsepower, but the engine is so tunable that some companies out there have got a thousand horsepower from this engine. The rationale behind the Escort Cosworth design is that it should win the World Rally Championship. It didn't achieve that goal, but it did win eight events between 93 and 96 as a Group A car, and two more in the World Rally Championship in 97 and 98, before it was eventually replaced by the Focus RS WRC. Unfortunately, in this time period, the Japanese manufacturers were dominating WRC, with Subaru and Mitsubishi basically kicking the Ford's ass. But everyone who looked at the car knew it was something special with its wide arches and its distinctive whale tail spoiler. So I think it's an iconic car, despite not being the rally champion that it was meant to be. It's an awesome bloody car. Right, here's one of the cool things about Japan. If you turn your engine off, you're allowed to push your bike across pedestrian crossings. So you don't have to wait for the, you don't have to wait for the traffic lights. <laughs> no, I, this is something the postmen do on their little, they all got Cub 90s. And uh, I figured it was just postmen being dodgy, but apparently you're actually allowed to do this. So why not? Saves a bit of time, doesn't it? Right, so according to Google Maps, we're about a kilometer away. So we should be able to see it any time. Uh, slow down though. Now Google Maps says I'm 100 meters away. Oh, oh, oh. I can see a Michelin sign. Can you see that? Oh, I can see the car. Yeah, boy. Woohoo. Let's go and find this old girl. 
Gotta do a wheelie, haven't you? When you're excited. Right, so. Here it is, boys and girls, here it is. Yeeha! An Escort Cosworth in the flesh in Japan. Who would have guessed? Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is, there she is. All right. Nice little parking spot for me too. How about that? All right, well, here is the tire shop, Michelin tire shop. Looks pretty abandoned. Well, not really. Looks just like it's closed, but here you can, you can see the car hasn't moved for a while. There's shitloads of leaves and stuff under the tires. And it is filthy, as was told to me, so yeah, here she is. Oh, it's a right hand drive. But yeah, no engine. So I think it's time to switch to my other GoPro and have a get some close ups of this old girl. Nice. Alright, so I've got some shots of the car underneath and stuff and in the engine bay with the old GoPro so I think the only thing left to do now is ring the bloody doorbell because I can hear someone grinding in there so I don't know if there's somebody actually in here or not I rang that a minute ago but no one answered probably can't hear Oh, there is someone in there. I can see someone in there. Should see if it's open. Uh, maybe that'll freak them out now and they'll come and open the door. So, who the fuck are you? Well. I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to anyone today, so I think what I'm going to do is go home and get the missus to write me a nice polite Japanese letter and maybe stick it through the door box because I want this thing I'm not a fan of this body kit at all, but it's got potential the roll cage is, is pretty trick actually it goes all the way around the, the transmission tunnel all the way across the top of the dash it's braced like everywhere it's quite a, a strange design really the only bummer of it is it does have a sunroof so it wouldn't be uh, perfect for motorsport but all in all it's a reasonably tidy car I couldn't see any rust underneath it so uh, yeah we'll have to uh, make this a part two and hopefully we'll get get some contact out of the old boy right then boys and girls so that was um that's the the mission for today over and done with so i think i'll have to do a part two hoping and assuming that i get a reply from the guy saying if he'll uh, sell it or not well yeah what do you reckon guys can you see me in an escort cosworth oh yeah all right boys and girls time to head home thanks for watching if you haven't done already please do subscribe to my channel make sure you like this video and if you want to please share it because it will help me out a lot all right guys it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the old esky later